Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have another Footy's favorite SBC that is leaked and most likely is going to be dropping today in FIFA 22. But I also want to take a look at the 85 times 10 that we saw yesterday and it was not released as unlimited repeatable, which was a bit unfortunate because we were hoping that it would be. But again, I think there's a few reasons why EA might have did that. So I want to talk through those reasons. And also, speaking of SBCs, Today is a really big day for a lot of refreshes. We have big SBCs refreshing today, including the now repeatable every 24 hours, 85 times 10 upgrade pack that'll refresh today. And also the footies times 10 upgrade is gonna refresh today as well. A bit more of an expensive one. I also expect that 94 plus shapeshifter player pick. Could it come back as a 95 plus today? Either way, I think we will get another Shapeshifters only player pick re-released today on the game. And we also have to keep remembering to grind the Summer Slops 2 tokens because even more, eight more were released yesterday via objectives. Make sure you're getting those done because this Friday is the big day. So we're going to talk about a lot of stuff in today's video because let's be honest, the grind in the menus is still going strong inside of footy. So if you're excited for the video today, hit that thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. I want to look at this leaked SBC first of all, because there's one thing that we know gets people excited in this game, and that is Brazilian right wings. You know, French center backs, Brazil right wings, I would say that they are some of the most two popular positions and um, like nations for people's squads, with France squads being so popular and Brazil squads, especially with the Anthony that this footy's favorite SBC is based off of, his team of the season card. This is the April Footy's favorite SBC winner, Anthony, that is leaked. Now, of course, he already has the five star skills, and hopefully, he would get a five star week, but that's why this SBC could have a lot of hype. I know you guys might be like, Nate, we've had Bale, we've had Royce, we've had uh, Ferran Torres recently, we've had Chiesa, we've had so many right wings. Well, this one's Brazil, so I think for a lot of people, you know, the, depending on how this card is today, statistically, if it does have these stats, this would be a footies SBC that so many people would want to go out and do, and it would be pretty easy to link with Brazilian links. Now, again, like I mentioned, this is the footies favorite based off of his team of the season card. And if you guys remember this card, his price went like mad. It fluctuated a ton. Of course, it dropped down a ton. He was in packs for two weeks at the beginning of team of the season. But this is a very, very popular card. 4.5 million games played in a short, you know, what is this? Like a three month span. That's a ton of games. A very, very popular card in this year's FIFA. That's why I think this SBC today will have a lot of hype. Now, also, part of the reason he could have hype is because he has been linked with Manchester United. Not saying this would be obviously released as a Man U card, as he is still an Ajax player. But this might have a little bit of hype for some people that are hoping that he goes to United and maybe want to play with him in their ultimate teams because of that hype and because of the hope and the reports that he could be transferring. So, you know, that's part of the, I guess, hype with this card today. With Since we're in the summer transfer window, we have some of those emotions on our minds. But this is just going to be an insane card, right? This Tots card was so good with the five-star skills, and he fluctuated so much in price. Imagine this with a five-star boost. He has got the uh, average body type, which is not the best, but technical dribbler, outside foot shot, flare, if they give him. I mean, he's already got, like, maxed out agility and balance. This card is going to have literally 99 dribbling, 99 pace. It just depends on the uh, the boost in the other areas, the shooting, the passing, the physical. It's going to be a pretty good card. And since it is Eredivisie, hopefully they make it a little bit cheaper. I would expect that this could be a SBC that is similarly priced to where the Ferran Torres was, to where the Chiesa was, where these guys were actually pretty good value, like around 100K. I would expect, especially with fodder prices as low as they are anyways, I would expect to see a, a Anthony SBC today probably around that 100,000 coin price range. So that is what we are hoping for today. And I mean, I really expect Anthony to be today because if you think about it, last Tuesday was when we had Mr. Lacroix leaked on Monday, released on Tuesday as a footy's favorite winner. And then, of course, on Wednesday last week, we had the big boy Ferland Mendy. So I really think today is going to be the day for that Anthony card. And, you know, whatever it may be for you, if it's a card that fits in your team, stock up on some 83s, 84s, 85s, guys, I don't think it's going to be that expensive. Now, also, you might be thinking, Nate, are some Ajax links going to go up because of this? Well, fact is, they already have. Gravenberch was around like 20,000 coins when this SBC was leaked. 
Um, and Graven Birch's card has already gone up. He was about 30k at one point. Right now, he's chilling at about 25k. We're going to keep an eye on this card for sure because, I mean, almost Club 90. This is the most popular green link to an Anthony card if he would get released. Some of your other Air Divisie Todd's cards might rise up a little bit. I mean, I, I just don't see a lot of these guys rising up enough to make them a really good investment. Just Gravenberg would be one of the only ones. Maybe Timber, maybe Masrawi, maybe Sangare, just a little bit. But I would say I wouldn't go too hard investing in this because, you know, it's Brazil. So a lot of people are still going to be able to link him with other Brazil cards that they have on their team. You know, we've had Brazil SBCs. We have Casemiro, who's in objectives right now. All you need is two um, you know, weak links with one Brazilian striker and one Brazil midfielder in a 4-3-3 or maybe at a, to a right back and a center attacking mid in a 4-5-1 and boom, you've got your link to Anthony. So he's not going to be that hard to link that you need these IX players, but I think Gravenberg, you know, as we've said, his, his card price has gone up after the leak yesterday. Again, 22,000 coins kind of spiking here to 30 and then chilling. He could go up a little bit more today just because that's going to be the perfect card to link to that Anthony when he does get dropped. But I think it depends on the price and the hype if it is there today on the game for that. So that's kind of the biggest piece, or I guess the player SBC piece of our Tuesday content I'll be dropping today. Now, like I mentioned, it's going to be still a pretty big day for upgrade SBCs because we're going to have the 85 times 10 once again. We're going to have the badge three times 10 once again. And of course, the 86 plus player pick, which refreshes every day along with that, of course. So there's three big upgrade packs in here. Along with that, we're going to have a 94 plus shapeshifter player pick re-released. Could this be the time to increase this to a 95? Maybe there's a bit of potential for that because they do have a 95 plus shapeshifter player pick that they've released before. It was a part of swaps one. It's a part of swaps two. Again, I believe in the rewards. So I think that this SBC could get re-released today or they might just give us a 95 plus and give us a brand spank a new one, which I'd be fine with that as well. We'll just have to see what happens on the game today. Uh, but I think there could be, again, three, four, probably four of those big SBCs upgrading or refreshing, as we say, re-upping on the game today. And again, that just makes me want to look at SBC fodder and makes me think that these fodder prices are, are going to do well again. Now, yesterday, a lot of those cards did rise, right? Um, you know, taking a look at, let's see, Ziyech is kind of a lower card right now, 4.5 thousand coins. Last night on the video, we were talking, right? 4K and under for some of those cards was way, way, way too cheap. They went up very nicely yesterday. You had a lot of your 84s reach around like a 6,000 coin peak price in that first hour to two hours after the content drop. And now they're kind of back down again. Not as low as they were on uh, last night, like Sunday night into Monday. But I still think these are, are W buys just like every single day, right? I really like the 83s and the 84s the best. Still think 85s could do a little bit better today with some of those higher rated SBCs coming back, like with the footies batch three times 10. But again, what's the most hyped SBC? That 85 times 10 is the one, right? Only an 83% upvote this time. I think the people that are downvoting it really wanted it to be unlimited repeatable, but now we get to do it every single day. And again, like I mentioned, you take a look at these cheapest solutions. The, the way that people are doing this SBC is they're going and buying a couple higher tier cards and then they're filling out the rest of the squad with lower rated ones, 84s, 83s, after going and buying these players. So that's going to continue the trend today, which is why I like the 83s and the 84s. Um, again, the ones that are down, like De Gea's, back to 4.9 thousand coins again. Like this guy, probably going to go up again today. He was 5.5k at the content drop. So, you know, that's not that uh, big of a drop down from where he was earlier. Again, I would try to look for some of these cards that are just very, very popular in SBC solutions that seem to spike up every day. Phil Foden, 4.8K. What did he do yesterday? 6,000 coins, right? Boom. That's a really good one. Try to get some Phil Fodens, right? You know what? I might stock one or two right now. I'm going to do the same thing I did last night and stock some of these gold cards because, again, we have three and potentially four if they re-release a Shapeshifter player pick. Big SBCs today that would, you know, be ones that people would want to go out and do and... I think that's just a, another great reason why fodder is going to go up today. So it, whether you bought the cards um, yesterday, Sunday night into Monday, like even on bids, like, like look at this, right? Let's see if I can just snag this one at 4.3. Okay, I got outbid. Anyways, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I'd be doing because this these cards are absolutely W's. They move every single day on this game just because that's where all the focus and that's where all the hype is. So try to find some of those 83s, 84s, buy them up, and they're going to go up higher again today in price 100%. Now the 85 times 10, once again, yesterday we were really excited about the potential of it being unlimited repeatable. And of course 
we are a bit disheartened to see that it was not unlimited repeatable. A lot of you guys made a good point in yesterday's video saying that EA might be thinking of the swaps packs coming out this Friday as a reason as to why they did not release the 85 times 10, which I think is a very good point. But now we get now we're at this point where we know it's not going to be unlimited repeatable until at least next Monday. And if you think about it, next Monday, we're only going to have four days left of Fody's Batch 3 in packs. And that's going to really limit your time on, I mean, yes, it's four days, so it's a decent amount of time, but only four days when these cards have been in packs for two weeks to grind the 85 times 10 and to do that craft, it takes some time to get, especially if you're going like bronze pack method with all the upgrade packs that we have right now, you can take a bronze pack and, and make it all the way into an 85 times 10 um, by doing all of the footies upgrades that we have with the 60 to 64. I mean, you have to have your some cards in your club to begin with, of course, to help out with that. But like, that's the kind of grind that people are doing right now with all of these upgrades. And these even expire in four days. So it's literally going to be impossible to do that grind unless those are re-released. And this is 85 times 10 is unlimited repeatable. So that's why I'm a little bit bummed because I just felt like, you know, that second week, Yes, this would be hype if it was unlimited repeatable next week, but I feel like a lot of people would be like, man, if only it could have been earlier, it would have been a little bit more hype. So I do think, though, that you guys have a good point. We didn't really talk about it a ton yesterday, but the swaps rewards coming out this Friday would be like EA saying, wait, you guys are going to get all these fodder packs on Friday. Why do you need a repeatable 85 times 10 to get all, all that fodder, which does make sense in theory, but also not everybody wants that, right? Maybe this Friday people are going to go out and try to get that Ben Yedder card if there's enough tokens that have been released or a big time player pick or a big time pack. So, you know, I just wish we had that 85 times 10 to be unlimited repeatable just because it'd be flat out fun. That's really the reason why I think a lot of us wish that it would be there. So that is a little bit of a bummer. And especially next week, it could be a little bit of a bummer too if we're short on that time. So that's, the, of course... You know, the big content talk from yesterday. Now, also from yesterday, we got more swap tokens as we usually do on a Monday, right? We had Argentina, Brazil, Portugal, and France. I guessed it was going to be Portugal and, and Spain. I was close, but I got one out of two for the uh, live foot friendly one nation games. Make sure you're grinding these. And I just wanted to point that out and talk about it for a bit in today's video too. Don't forget about these because I forget about these cards way too often and I forget about the grind of collecting the tokens because as of right now, we have been released 26 different tokens. 26 tokens after yesterday's big chunk of eight. That means probably by Friday, we're going to be at like 28, 29 tokens in total. And that means that, you know, you're going to be able to claim some of those middle to higher tier rewards. I believe if we're at 28 tokens, Ben Yedder is 27 tokens. So you'll be able to claim that um, the big boy Ben Yedder. And that'll be a card that a lot of people will be going for this weekend. But you'll also be able to get the fodder packs and some player picks and stuff like that. So whatever your um, grind is going to be going towards, whatever your tokens are going towards, what you've decided, make sure that you are at least not forgetting about, like, I always forget about the token SBCs or the uh, Casemiro objective token, right? There's some that are kind of hiding in there, but specifically like the SBCs, the Bundesliga Tots SBC expires uh, today on the game. So make sure you're, you're watching for that and getting that done. And I just wanted to take a second to kind of mention that and to say like, hey, Watch your tokens because I forget about them all the time. And this Friday is the big day for that. That's that's the biggest piece of hype for this Friday. And we're going to continue talking about that throughout the rest of this week is all of the fodder that people are going to be getting on fr Friday when they release the Summer Swaps 2 rewards. So I've been looking forward to this. The time is almost here. But again, we got to do our preparations and make sure that we get our tokens um, completed so that we have them to spend when those rewards do come out. Now let's talk market a little bit too, because as I talked about in last night's video, I mentioned buying some cards and that is exactly what I did. I actually went out and spent about 4 million on cards last night. Um, I bought four Hyunmin Suns, two of them at 600 and, and under, two of them at 620. So some small flips there on him. He didn't rise up as much as I thought he would. Kyle Walker went up like 50K. Bob Verde went up a decent amount himself. A lot of these bounces happened yesterday after content. Um, after EA released the 85 times 10 and people saw that it was not unlimited repeatable. I think if it would have been unlimited repeatable, then some of those prices would not have done as well. Hyunmin Sun was 620 earlier tonight. What is he right now? 615, 620 again. So he's kind of in that low range. Now, some other cards actually had bigger rises. Um, and I thought that that was kind of what we talked about in last night's video as well. The potential for some rises. Timo Werner, Shapeshifter card, 130,000 coins. 
um, last night, 190 at the moment. A couple other cards that went up, Marcelo, Ribéry had a nice bounce. Sergio Ramos was like 250 at the content drop and also 260K last night. And now he is rising over 300,000 coins. He's 304, 309. So you've seen some of these cards bounce back a little bit. Here is my advice. If you have any of these uh, cards that have maybe you know, bounced back slightly in terms of market value. Shapeshifter Conte was like 1.15. Now it's like 1.3 highs, I believe. 1.39. So if you have any of these cards, I think I would get them out today uh, because this was a high point, I believe, last week as well. Wednesday, we'll have new voting. We'll have some tradable supply come in. And then, of course, we get to Friday. And I mean, think about how the pack weight has been this week, guys, right? I would not, even if the packs that are going to be open on Friday, a lot of the swaps packs, are going to be untradeable. All you're having throughout this whole entire week is more 85 times 10s, more um, upgrade packs that's gonna drain coins off the market, like the 40s times 10, the 86 plus player pick, all that stuff, draining more and more coins off the market. And the fodder packs are gonna supply a lot of these insane shapeshifters and tots cards into people's clubs untradeable because let's face it, right? It, they're really, really good packs and there's so many special cards out right now and the packs are like 86 times 15. Like there's gonna be some really awesome cards that pop out of an 86 times 15. So that would again be another reason why with these slight rises in price, I would look to take the coins here pretty soon because you just, you don't wanna have, you don't wanna mess around with having those cards um, in your club probably once we get to Friday with everything the hype being based around the packs and I think the prices will probably start to drop a little bit Wednesday and Thursday with tradable supply and people of course getting ready for those big packs on Friday so that's kind of what I would say about those cards and you know I'm glad I bought a couple of them to make a few coins back um, you know it wasn't really big profits but it was a few um, you know, buying fodder every single day or buying a few of these cards to trade with every single day and watching their fluctuations, like it is really a good way to keep some coins coming in and to keep some profit and, and, you know, some positive coin injection coming into your account in these times where there's just a lot of coin drain from the, uh, from the SBCs and from the fodder that you need to do them. So that's one thing I would say about the market at the moment. Last thing is Icon Moments Pele dropped yesterday. Um, I know it's Pele. I get it. His squad right now on Footbin, his SBC, 25 different segments, which we were talking about this in last night's video and in the stream yesterday is like EA just was not going to be able to make this SBC super cheap. Like if they made it 17 segments, it would have been really, really cheap compared to where this card was. And I think what they did with this Pele is they, they priced the SBC off of his price from last week, right? And so what we have had happen in the past week on this game is... Batch 3 has come out, and Pele was a 3.8 million coin card uh, last week. I mean, Friday, he was 3.6 million coins still. But with Batch 3 absolutely destroying all the top-tier cards in this game, like Ronaldo, Messi, Conte, Ribéry, like all these guys are down so much, it's dragged a lot of the other top-tier icons and even st other stuff that's out of packs, like Team of the Year and Mbappe, Team of the Year Cristiano Ronaldo. A lot of those cards have been drugged down in price just because of how much the overall market has been dropping. And I think just EA priced this guy off of his off of his SBC price last week because, you know, 2.5 mil last week would have been like, oh my goodness, that's such a deal. He's 3 mil. What a deal, right? Well, it's the opposite because the market's been dropping and he dropped even more with the leaks coming out on, on um, yesterday. He went down all the way to 1.9 mil and his SBC being so expensive has brought his price all the way back up to about 2.4 to 2.5. So I know on one side of the mind, it's a little bit daunting to try to do 25 squads but this Pele is probably one of the best attackers in the game still this is one of those icons that maintains a position of um just how op he is in the game the elite level that this card is being 99 rated with all the stats that he has he's definitely still an end game card so if you want to craft this i don't hate it i just think that you know 25 squads I wish it was like 20, maybe 21 squads. They added 92 rated squads into this, which is crazy. Uh, you do get some tradable packs back as well, which with the prices of gold rares, with the prices of, you know, um, cards in this game on the lower tier end with all those gold rares and some of your 82s, 83s selling for like 3, 4K, it's really not a bad time to open packs like this and to craft an SBC. And with all the special cards and packs, you're going to be hitting a lot of cards that are like 12, 15, 20K a lot from these... 50k packs you're gonna make a lot of coins back 
from this SBC doing it right now, since a lot of the packs, basically all of them are tradable, you know, you might get 500k worth of value back from these packs over the course of doing the SBC. So really that does lower the price down to about 2 million coins straight out of pocket. And you know that with an 85 times 10 every single day with the 82 plus player picks, the 75 times five grind, you can make that Pele SBC a little bit less expensive with all the grind that you have in the game. And that's the same grind that you can use to try to do footies many right now. I know a lot of people are doing that. I know a lot of people are doing like Ronaldinho or Hullet or just crafting 80, uh, the night, the, footies times 10 upgrades every single day or the 86 plus player picks because just the grindability of the menus is so fantastic, which is what we love about footies and the summertime content on this game. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Pele SBC, but I wanted to spell that out there just because I know that was a lot of, that was a pretty popular talking point on the game yesterday as well. So today on Tuesday, Anthony SBC would be something that I would expect. I don't know if there's anything else crazy coming out today, apart from just a lot of SBCs being refreshed and a lot of people probably gonna go do those. So watch your fodder and of course, watch your card prices of those that have maybe gone up in the past day, maybe time to take some cash on those. And I think gold rares are probably going to be at their expensive, most expensive today too. Like they're, some of them are creeping up to around 2k, which is, it's crazy to be paying 1.8 for gold rares, but it kind of has to be done if you're doing player picks. So I'm going to keep grinding the player picks, keep dumping my coins into those and having a lot of fun. Biggest pack pull that we added to the club yesterday was Franck Ribéry. We uh, snagged him from a footies batch three times 10. So the good pack luck continues. And now Ribery is going to be going into the main squad. I can't wait to try him out and use him. And the, um, the Bundesliga squad is looking very nice as well. Finished Kevin Prince. Going to try him out 7-3 and three after the first day in Bundesliga Cup. So bad start. Went 0-3 and, and then 7-0. and 0. So hopefully we can continue a good run and get to 27 wins uh, with missing the first couple of days in that. But if you're excited... For the content today, drop a like on this video. Comment down below why you might be excited or what you're looking forward to. Or if you even want to do this Anthony SBC, if it's pretty cheap or just how you're finding footies at the moment. I'd love to hear about it all down below in the comments. But of course, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the Twitch stream today. It has been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.